Well, if you're driving around the city of Buffalo, you might see some of these electronic message boards reminding you to stay safe. Krista Moran continues our team coverage with more safety steps being taken. What we want to do is save the emergency alert system for the most life threatening. After review of the response to the blizzard, Erie County Executive Mark Polencars announced plans for an emergency alert system to give notice when there are storms similar to what we saw in December. The alert would be sent out through phones, TVs, radios and other devices. We want to save the system for this, the, the real, real it's going to be bad and we think we expect people to die. The storm alert would be ranked one through five, similar to hurricanes. The goal would be to use this when absolutely necessary. We don't want to activate an emergency alert system and then have people get so accustomed to the emergency alert system just from any old storm that it uh, they just ignore it. Now the city of Buffalo installed these digital signs to warn drivers of dangerous storm conditions. This will be um, across the city, so people in distressed neighborhoods uh, that pass by these uh, digital signs will see them. Still, when it comes to storm alerts, Buffalo Common Council member Mitch Nowakowski says it's critical to have alerts similar to Erie counties. We need to make sure that people are, are properly aware that they need to stay off the roads and that they need to shelter in place during inclement weather. Nowakowski says although they're in the discussion stage about this alert system, an option could be partnering with the county to implement this for everyone. He says he's had conversations with polling cars. When you're having constant reminders, especially during severe weather, it can be life saving. When it comes to handling these emergencies, Nowakowski says Common Council is eyeing down an emergency manager position while the mayor's office is looking at a fleet manager. Council votes on the fleet position on Tuesday. We're in downtown Buffalo. Krista Moran, 7 News.